So this is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Today we're going to be blowing some snow. I've got some video from using this particular snowblower. We're going to be starting with the Ryobi. This is their 40 volt um, lithium ion powered snowblower. It's a 20 inch unit. Uh, great for what we have right now, which is light and fluffy snow. This snow fell at about 15 degrees here in Minnesota. Uh, we've got about three to four inches back here, depending upon where you're at. We're in an area where it's drifting a little bit. I'm going to show you how it works in this kind of light, kind of powdery snow, which is pretty easy. Uh, the biggest thing that you're going to find with a battery powered snow blower in this type of stuff is it just makes it so you're not having to push a shovel and it will blow it farther. So you're not going to have the piles at the end of your driveway, but you're going to see the 40 volt here in this, this particular test. And then I'm going to jump to a little clip of showing you it heavy, wet snow and the struggle it has. Now keep in mind in heavy, wet snow, there were people in the last few, from last Friday who were using their two stage gas power, 10 horsepower that basically got to the point where they're like, this is it. And they started shoveling. So wet snow is tough for every unit, but I want to show you how this, this little Ryobi 40 volt unit will go in this snow and you'll be able to see, I hope, uh, kind of the throw that it's going to give us. It's going to be tough because we've got white on white on white. And you can see by the car behind me, we got a lot of snow here in the last few days. So I'm going to get that unit out and let's do some testing. So very simple machine to operate. You've got your two battery compartments there. One is storage. One is actually the, the battery that it pulls from. So we've got the battery in there. The chute is just controlled by a pivoting of this switch and we can tip it up and down depending upon how far we want to throw. Because we have a little bit of a wind, it's blowing this way. I wanted to have it so that the snow would blow this way and away from the camera. So I'm going to start and I'm actually going to clear out on the other side of the car and then I'm going to do this area. So you're going to see the whole thing. We're going to kind of time phase it, what have you, so that it'll go a little quicker. And, uh, and we'll be off to go. Uh, to start it, we have an operator prisons handle, which is on both sides, and a button. That's all there is to it. Now, this particular configuration, we have a, a, an eight-foot cement slab, or kind of a apron here. And then we go into gravel. This can work in gravel, but you obviously have to hold it up so it doesn't dig in. Same with pretty much every snowblower. Nothing new there. But we're just going to do the cement area because it's just a little bit easier to do the cement. And then I'm going to continue on and do some more things. So let's turn this and get this rest of this area cleaned out. So there is our little test here using the Ryobi. This is their 40 volt lithium ion. It's a brushless motor in here. So it's utilizing as much of that 40 volt as it possibly can to clear an area. It did a pretty nice job. Now, this isn't the most high-end single-stage battery powered. There's other voltages and things that work, work well and do a nice job also. But if you're into the Ryobi tools and you've got the 40-volt system, which has the trimmer and the blower and all the different tools and chainsaw, this would be a great addition to that. For those times where you have that last two passes, that's through about five and a half to six inches of snow. Some of that snow is from the earlier. We had our big wet snow, then we had a second snow, and now this is the third snow in the last four days. So this is the last two snows that I just moved through there. And if you were listening, you could probably hear it kind of change pitch a little bit as I went through that because I was a little heavier, but it still functioned and, and did well. When we went through the very heavy wet snow and trying to go through six inches of that, it actually stalled it out. It's a lot, a lot to do. 40 volt doesn't quite have as much power, but for doing it and not shoveling, this is a great thing because I don't have a bank here now. I have this, which I'm gonna take out with a tractor because it's over gravel and I'd rather drive tractor out there. But for most people, clearing a driveway, clearing a sidewalk, the 40 volt, small, compact, I can turn these little handles, but yeah, it's just a couple of pins and pull a handle out. It can store easily. And it's battery powered, so I can store it at any angle if you wanted to. Anyway, I'll put links in the description below so you can check this out. But Ryobi tools are found at Home Depot. That's the best spot to go out and check them out. You can go out to homedepot.com and find them there. If you're looking for a quick snowblower, this could be a great option for you. If you've got a lot of area, like we have this and we have that and we have that, it's 
more of a around the building type machine. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Thanks for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.